Good morning, sisters. Welcome back to HV Ministries, a ministry for you to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be. And so I am going to do a little lesson today, and we are going to do everything. I'm in my husband's man cave, um, not the girl cave today. I'm upstairs. So we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of Bible study, but we're going to do it um, with my camera flipped from this angle because I think some of you have been wanting to see a Bible flip through and today's Bible study would be really, really good for that. So for those that are new, welcome. I'm Heather Baxter. I'm a woman's teaching pastor and this is HB Ministries. Um, I highly, highly recommend you to go over to heatherbaxter.com and right up here, enter your email and um, get into the groove here. Because what I do is send out a newsletter every single Friday with notes. If you have missed any of the live studies over here on my site, I just kind of want to walk you through this so people see, hit blog, drag down, and you will see all of my past vlogs. So there's last Friday's um, and they're all on here. So as soon as I'm done teaching, I post the blog there for you. If you were to tap on any of these, so let's go ahead and just tap that on, you will see that it'll come up. And you will also notice that right there, if you click that, it says today's notes to help you with this lesson. So if you're not subscribed to my um, website, you will still get the notes if you go to the blog. But if you just want to keep everything nicely organized, get your war binder set up, print your notes and do a live study with me. This is what my channel looks like. And obviously, you know that because you're visiting Remy right now, but I don't know if you're just flipping through and you came across my channel because it said Bible flip through. So for those that are new, I just want to kind of let you know how things work. So I do live studies right here every single Friday, and those are fun because you will get your notes that you get from my website. So the best way to stay connected, again, is heatherbaxter.com. Put your... Uh, email in there and I will send you everything you need, I promise. And of course, there's more things on my website. Free studies, those are awesome. You can't go wrong there. All the videos are there for you. You can get a group together and you can do it virtually and even do a watch party. Also, coaching services are available. I have some really good packages right now. And so I would love to get involved in coaching with you. Um, if that's something you can go right on and schedule right there and do everything you need to do. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's study. So what you want to do here is just jump over to June Devotions. And every month I will do a nice calendar for you. Scroll up and here is your June calendar. We are working with my run book in the June calendar. This was published four years ago. Amazing book. Awesome if you want something to do journaling with and just learn how to run your race in such a way. This is a powerful book. So we're going to use that. Um, if you click this, this is journaling pages. You'll find out about that in my last videos um, because you will notice on the calendar I have journal days, which is your weekends, and I have grace days. I'm trying to get you to learn to pace out your race with Christ and learn to talk to him and learn um, to hear him speak back and how he speaks back. And so getting um, into the habit of journaling is really important. And my last um, vlog, I'm sorry, my last blog, if you hit here, this is all on um, why we should journal. So you might want to go watch that. That's awesome. And you will receive the notes there. But very, 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 very powerful. Today, we are on the 24th. So if you just hit that, we are studying 2 Corinthians 3.18 and we are studying metamorphosis. Pull up my Google Calendar and it is here. Um, I'm not going to do Google next uh, in July. I'm going to do a little bit of a different calendar, but some of you really appreciated the Google Calendar. So that is that. Now, a lot of times I will take all of this and I have my own personal planner right here and I will make a calendar. So these are past months where I just um, put my calendar in. So you can do it however you want. Sometimes you can write out the dates. Whatever makes you feel good, you can get your calendar in order. I highly recommend that to keep all your dates together, that you just get a piece of paper and go each day and write them all down so you know where we're at. So we are going to be talking about getting in shape, which is awesome. So right here it says shape in the Greek translates to morph. A synonym, isn't this awesome, for conversion which we worked with yesterday. And that's, of course, if you were reading the book. 
You've no doubt heard the term morph before. Morphing is a special effect in films and animation, and it means that an image changes or morphs into another image in a seamless transition. Most often, it is used to depict one person turning into another. So the question is, who are you turning into? And so we're going to talk about uh, this word, and then we're going to go into the stages of a butterfly. And I want to show you how these stages are very, very similar to the stages um, that you will have in your growth with Christ. So again, if you have the book, this is such a powerful uh, journaling area, um, and I highly recommend that. And so for now, we're going to go ahead to my Bible that everybody loves to look at. And if you head over to the um, HB Bible study and resource page, which is really our Bible study community, ladies are posting pictures of their Bibles and doing um, walkthroughs, which I am loving. And so many have loved my Bible. I mean, my Bible is like, I don't know, she's just famous. And so <laughs> she's old. And I know a lot of you just love her. And so we are going to do a little bit of a flip through with her. She goes everywhere with me. When I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. So she is the woman's study Bible, Thomas Nelson. Um, she is an older, older version. They don't make this anymore, but many of you are finding her on eBay. And so as a matter of fact, she is, let me see. Here we go. Her copyright is 1995 by Thomas Nelson, the study Bible. But you, like I said, you definitely, definitely can find these used on eBay and you can find other ones. And please go over to the HB Bible study and resource page and you will see ladies that have them. So she's old. Um, again, I understand all the writing in my Bible. Some people, this would make them extremely nervous. Um, however, I, I can look at things and really understand how God's speaking in his Alrighty, so let's go ahead and read today's uh, verse because we are going again to talk about butterflies. And we are going to talk about how we in our Christian life also morph into one stage after another, which really talks about this verse. And I've been writing on this page for quite some time, but I know what it says. Um, verse 18 says, but we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed. There's your word metamorphosis into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. And so I'm going to show you we're going to focus on the word transformed and how that also means um, being shaped into stages. The verse I want you to look at, um, if you can turn with me to Romans chapter 12, I would like you to look at verse 1. This isn't in our notes, but this will really set the stage for where I'm going to go. And again, I'm flipping. Flip, 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 because we love to flip. I know I love the sound of that too. Living sacrifices. I would like to talk about this really quick. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. My favorite part of this verse is be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Oh, and look what I put there. Oh, go here. No, not that way. This way, Heather. Gosh, I write silly things. Um, but here's the word transformed. Of course, in the run book, we're talking about um, being shaped and how metamorphosis means being transformed. And then over here on the side of my Bible, because I always have study notes here and I love this, it talks here that the, the believer is to experience a transformation, a metamorphosis which means to change. Right, so it says a new way of thinking made possible through the power of the Holy Spirit. So I love this because Paul uses this analogy of the human body to illustrate um, how we need to behave um, like a Christian and how all of this uh, is a form of transformation. I'm a visual, so I love the idea of the, the butterfly. The egg stage. The eggs are very small and laid on a plant. This plant can later be used as food for hatching caterpillars. Eggs are laid in the spring, summer, and fall. Many are laid so that at least some survive. Over here on the computer, a little bit of a picture. And this is like the changes. And God is going to do these kind of crazy stages in our life. So I always liken the egg stage right here. 
on to the beginning of whatever development he is trying to put you through according to the season that you are in. And so remember over here in my book, I was talking about how the egg stages, um, it's very small and the eggs are laid on a plant and, and they're either laid in the spring or the summer and in fall. Um, but we need to understand that that stage is very, very fragile. So I love looking at this stage. For example, right here, look how fragile. I mean, such a fragile, fragile stage. And so whatever um, you're going through in whatever season, the Lord is um, allowing you to receive a fresh word, which is almost like a seed, which is almost like an egg. Um, and at that time, it's beginning to develop. It's laying in your life and the Lord is helping you walk out some fragile things in your life. And so um, you need to be protected and around like-minded people because that is a very fragile stage. All right, now over here, and it's the larva and the feeding stage. And that's when you're, um, you know, the job of a caterpillar is to eat, neat, 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 neat. Remember the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar book? Well, I love that because it splits its skin, it sheds, it, it sheds four or five times. Um, the feed eaten at this time is stored and used as uh, into the adult stage. Caterpillars can grow a hundred times their size during the larva stage. This is a growing and expanding stage. As you grow in Christ, your past sometimes does not seem to fit in with your present life. Have you experienced changes you have given in, um, grown in your cocoon? I love, love, love this. This is the verse we're going to look up right now. We're going to come over here. We're going to look up 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 3. Now, this is that eating stage where we eat, eat, eat. But look at it says here. And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, because as to carnal, as to babes in Christ, I fed you with milk and not with solid food. For until now, you are not able to receive it. And even now you are not able, for you are still carnal. So what I want to share with you here is um, this is demonstrating um, the fact that the Lord feeds us and feeds us and feeds us upon um, where our stage is. So we don't lack um, any discernment or we don't lack truth. If he gave us everything at once in this larva feeding stage, um, we wouldn't be able to handle it because there's still parts of us that are like flesh, that are like carnal. And just like a baby, you don't give a baby a steak right away. You, you keep the baby on milk for a while and you help them as their mindset is growing, as you are becoming more like Christ. So then after that, um, the, pupa, the pupa stage, the transition stage, the chrysalis, it may look like nothing is going on, but big changes are happening on inside, right on inside. So big things are happening in you as God is feeding you and you're learning to walk in Christ in your season. You're learning um, to develop in that egg. Now remember, I believe that there's different eggs laid and, and seeds that are being developed in every season of life. And then that um, helps you feed on what God's teaching you in that season and then the transition. So I think that's important. Um, special cells that were present in the larva are now growing rapidly and will become legs, wings, eyes, antennas, and other parts. So as we go through change, God may require us to become transparent. How have you taken steps to trust and share? The last is the adult, the reproductive stage. It is new adult form. The butterfly emerges wet and shaky from cocoon. A blood flows into the wings and the udder. The adult flutters them. And when the wings are dry, lifts off at last. A primary function of the adult stage is to reproduce. And I always um, call that ministry. It's to fellowship and reproduce what Christ did in your life. We are all unique and we're created for specific plans and designs by God. He puts wings to your story. Has a ministry been birthed in you? A bigger dream? Do you feel called to fly with the gospel? And so I love that because that definitely um, talks about this cycle completely. And that's what Christ is trying to do. Let me move. So if we go back to the very first verse we studied and we talked about we go from glory to glory um, through our stages with Christ. And I just, I picture us all the way over in that caterpillar stage, eating away, um, feasting on the word of God and outgrowing each stage. But yet God's laying another egg in our life. He's like preparing us 
for another stage and another stage and we keep growing. And so when we're all done, I even think about the details in our wings, which is our story. Um, and every monarch is different and we are all different too, um, which I love that because I think that just is an um, example of our stories, um, the details in our life, the designs in our life are all based on um, what God did in our life, how he began to speak to us and uh, grow us in every season. And so I pray this was a blessing to you um, and that you can see the life cycle of a butterfly is very much um, like us. And I think it's also important to just understand that the word metamorphosis in the Bible in Hebrew means change. And the whole cycle of a butterfly is all about change. And we are going through cycles in our spiritual life also. And I think it's just a beautiful picture of what Christ is doing in your life. So I pray that this was a wonderful blessing to you. And I will see you ladies in tomorrow's lesson. Bye-bye and be blessed. Sounds good.